There's a new band in Memphis. Well, that's part of life here. But this one may be on the fast track to stardom because one of its members took a shot in the dark, fired by the send button on his email. Tonight on Behind Closed Doors, Making Memphis Music. It's a story that rolls out like a great piece of American fiction, which just happens to be the name of the band. It's very nice. Uh, just make sure... Um just make sure it's not too clicky. Drums and bass together, please. Two, three. Eddie Kramer is a legend in the music industry. As a producer and engineer, he helped shape the sounds of iconic stars like Jimi Hendrix. Oh, it's lovely and crunchy. May I hear Patrick, please? Led Zeppelin, Kiss, The Rolling Stones, and many others. That's great. Landon, please. Now you can add American fiction to that list. Everybody in for quick test. Wait, what? Who? Two, three. American Fiction is a new Memphis band, only together a year. Chris Johnson is the lead singer. With Zach Logan on drums, Pat Fusco at the keys, Blake Ray with bass, and Landon Moore on guitar. Take all the bad things back. So how does a renowned producer end up with a bunch of unknowns from Memphis? We had this one song, which was Dumb Luck. Perhaps a fitting title. Chris found Eddie's email address, sent a link to the song, and asked the question, do people in the industry still care about good music? I signed it, Beethoven, like, as my name, because I'd, <laughs> I'd, just, I'd just rather be anonymous. I, I said I'd <laughs> my pants if you wrote back. Eddie did. I said to him, you better get a large bag of Depends, boy. Exactly what he said. In, 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 the, in the most southern yeah. y'all voice that I could manage hey, for boy. a South African Englishman. <laughs> and so began Hit it again. the complicated collaboration of recording an album. Let's try and take from the top. God is in the details. Would you try and let me feel all the trust you may not feel? Why won't you understand? little bit counts because if a beat is off or a guitar part is not quite gelling correctly you put the faders up and you listen you go hmm yeah that's nice but there's something bothering us every part in the song you, you try to make it as easy as possible but at the same time it's a very mental game it's a musical language conversation spoken uniquely in memphis for me it's like making a journey back to a spot where great music has been created. And look, this is a fantastic studio. The history and the walls are just sort of talking to us right now. Blake, are you on the Blake, take, guys. That's excellent. It's bloody good, mate. It's terrific. American Fiction's first album, called Dumb Luck, is scheduled to be released on June 3rd. After that, the band goes on the road, playing when and where they can find a good audience, maybe becoming an opening act for another hit band, all those being traditional steps on what they hope and believe can be a trip to success. There's also a lot of outstanding extra video from this story, including a great conversation I had with Eddie Kramer talking about working with Jimi Hendrix. And we posted that to our website at localmemphis.com. In the meantime, if there's some place you'd like to see behind closed doors, just send me an email to doors at localmemphis.com or on Facebook at Local Memphis, and I'll try to open some of them for you. Now, from